easily three-star the Clashmas Gingerbread Challenge with this tutorial. The new event attack showcases the gingerbread scenery and hero skins available across December. The first of which is the Grand Warden unlocked in the Gold Pass, which if you are purchasing, you can support a creator beforehand by entering their code. My code is Judo and it is very much appreciated. I have to say, I really like this challenge designed by Clash with Eric, so let's get you your three star. Start by assuring that your Grand Warden is set to air mode. We will then use a bowler, one to the eight o'clock elixir storage to bounce through and take out the air defense. Mimic this on the other side of the base. A good learning point if you're ever trying to set the funnel and snipe a defense at the same time. To the bottom two air defense, one super wall breaker to each of these to open up the compartments for later. We will then use a super dragon onto the single target infernos and one second later use a lightning spell to reset the beams. Exactly the same on the other side. One super dragon, wait a second, lightning spell. This means the super dragons can take these out and move down over to get the expo as well. Then at the six o'clock area of the base, use a lava hound followed by a balloon. Exactly the same at the three o'clock area. One lava hound, one balloon. Once the lava hound gets to the air defense, three super dragons, your grand warden, king to one air defense, queen to the other, followed by your four balloons. As they move into the base, rage spell, grand warden ability. With your earthquakes, use one of them over the top of all of these Tesla. One of them to the left of the town hall and one just above the town hall to hit all of the monoliths and expos. As the clan castle, Tesla and Archer Towers go down, use an invisibility spell just in front of the town hall to keep everything protected as they take that out. Two skeleton spells behind the monoliths followed by the royal champion. With your invisibility spell, you want to save onto this, use the queen ability when needed. It might go off automatically, but with the invisibility spell, wait until the monoliths target the royal champion and turn her invisible. If they do not target, which a lot of the time they don't, you don't have to worry about it, but just make sure you do not turn the defense invisible at the same time. You can then hold on to the ability for if you need it. This will guarantee your three stars. Best of luck, my friends. And if you want to have a glimpse into upcoming updates, I have an interview with community manager Darian right here.